getting paid, not doing anything, because God is awesome that way. Look, man, I wanted to finish up on what I was saying earlier. Um, you know, just to give a little bit more background about my story that is still unfolding to this day. I started music when I was about 10 years old. Um, just having an infatuation with it and really just tapping in. You know, coming from where I'm from, those who know, know. You know, it's the Mecca. You know what I mean? It's the it's the, it's the, the player, the, the grounds of which hip-hop emerged. You know what I mean? And then moving to D.C. and You know, just different different areas in my life. Just always was around music. My dad's a musician. My mom can play hella instruments. She can sing. You know, music is just, it's embedded in my DNA. Anyway... I started out as an artist first. A lot of y'all that know me know me for music. Y'all know me for doing music, rapping, or, you know, just music in general. Well, at that time, um, you know, growing up, I, I felt like I wasn't the smartest in my class. I wasn't the most handsome. I can't believe that, can you? That's crazy, right? Uh, I wasn't deemed the most handsome. I wasn't deemed the, the, the most athletic. I wasn't deemed all of these things, but I knew that I knew music. If I couldn't do anything else, I knew that I knew I was nice at that. And I knew that I wouldn't allow anyone to make me believe that I wasn't. Um, and I'm saying this to say that for 10 years in the music industry as an artist, that's what I was doing. Now, granted, I didn't have, I didn't blow up. I didn't blow up. I allowed my fears. You know what I'm saying? I allowed certain things. I allowed life to stop me from uh, making certain decisions to go forth, right? Like the, like the, the, the rejection from my peers, right? Uh, I allowed that to stop me from producing more videos, more content, you know what I mean? Like really believing in the full package. I'm getting to a point here. Don't leave. Um, what I'm saying. So through that trial, I still had success though. I still met people. I was doing some things. God has blessed me, um, in this 20 year, uh, you know, of, of being in this industry and, meeting people and doing things. God has blessed me tremendously. As I continued to grow up, I really thought that that was all that I had to offer. I really thought that that's all that I was. If I didn't do anything else, I just thought, Lord, don't take music from me because what else would I do? I thought that music would take me to become famous. I wanted to be Hove. I wanted to be, you know, uh, the locks. I wanted to be all of those guys because that's what I did. Well, God, for the first 15, well, during my, from my, from my 10th, from 15 to 21 was trying to help me understand that I was more than that, that what he had placed in me was way bigger than I could even imagine and had nothing to do with it. And so that scared me because I was like, well, Lord, I don't have a degree. I don't have a, a, a college. I don't have it. I didn't graduate from college. I went one year and left. Uh, I wasn't I didn't take school serious because my social life was popping. I'm just going to be honest. My social life was popping in middle school. Right now, peep game, peep that, peep that. I did not do academics, but my social life was always lit, and I was always good at music. Right, I went through it, uh, went through my storms, went through everything, figuring everything out. I produced uh, at 21, I had my first music production company. Well, I had to have that because I had got offered a joint venture deal with a label, uh, independent label in LA. At that time, I didn't understand business. So I didn't understand any of that. I just did what they told me to do. Some of the things didn't make sense and I left it alone. My daughter was born. Here we go. I'm trying to speed it up because I want to get to the main point of what I'm saying. As I continued my life and still continue what God was showing me and continuing to show me that he had planted other things in me that would continue to add to who I am. Right. So as I'm doing a rap thing, I'm thinking I'm going to be a rap star, whatever, whatever, whatever I do. The, uh, I, per, I was able to release my first album, my album through my music production company. You understand now at the time, it didn't make sense. It didn't it didn't seem like an accomplishment to me because I didn't put two and two together. But I paid for all of the beats. I made sure all the producers were paid. I did the administrative back work, just figuring it out. Right. Not having all the T's dotted, right? But just enough to understand what I needed to understand. As I continued, more things began to be revealed to me, right? Here's what I'm telling you. Here's what I'm telling you. Everything around what God gave me, I believed and just went for it. He blessed me with Caviar Society 10 years ago. 
I want you to understand that Caviar Society 10 years ago was not a business. It was a vision. It was a brand. And all I had was God on my side to lead me on where to go. I didn't graduate from Harvard or business school or I didn't take any of those approaches because honestly, me and school weren't the bestest of friends. We, we better now because I understand the importance of information. But what I'm telling you is this, you are watching, you are watching an empire be created in front of you. In 10 years, so much transformation has taken place that the identity of the business has evolved. Again, it wasn't a business, it was a vision. It is now a business, right? So moving forward with that, you gotta understand, you know, that you're gonna go through different trials and tribulations within your business, within your life. Um, entrepreneurship is ongoing, it's, it's forever changing. Do not be ashamed of that. Do not be ashamed of what you don't know. Don't be ashamed of what you don't know. Don't be ashamed of your weaknesses. In fact, embrace your weaknesses until they become strengths. You understand what I'm saying? I just I just wanted to tap in with that because, you know, we get so caught up, man, and, and, and letting people label us and what we do and speak on us and all of that, man. Listen, this is your journey. This is your journey. And now, not only am I able to still produce music, but I can produce it when I feel like it. I'm able to be a blessing to other people. I'm able to help artists reach their potential, right? Because through my journey of failures and mistakes and successes, I was able to tap in with some powerful people that do different things, right? So now my network, my network is, is, is intense. You know what I mean? And so that's what we present. We present, you know, God let me be the person I didn't have in my life for other people. That's what caviar is about. We present op when opportunity meets hunger. Like, that's what we giving you. So, so for you and whatever you got going on, keep going. It doesn't matter what you don't know. Seek help. Ask, the, ask for the information. Find it. You'll find it. It will all come together. You just can't let somebody else taint your vision. Because at the end of the day, if God gave it to you, that's it. You ain't got to worry about how. It's not your job to figure out how. It's not your job to figure out how. My first check, listen, man, when I started this consulting agency, I was doing consults for $25. You know why? Because I thought that who's going to want to listen to me? Uh, who's going to want to pay? Because, you know, my mother told me, yo, shout out to Mom Dukes. My mother says, son, the devil is a lie. She said, I'm going to let you do this 25 right now. And don't you ever, don't you ever. Matter of fact, I was willing to do it for free, listening to other people. Not only, she said, don't you ever let somebody tell you what your value is. Because your value is, well, <laughs> valuable. And so I'm like, all right, man, they know I wasn't really trying here. Well, let me tell you this. I did two clients for $25. I noticed the clients that I was getting and I needed and I wanted better clients. And, and, and then my mentor told me, rest in peace, Dave Wren. He said, King, you are experiencing people who are like your prices are a reflection of the kind of clients you're dealing with. You want higher clients. You got to you want to charge. You got to show them more like you got to make them understand they're going to have to pay. Long story short, it went from twenty five dollars. To two hundred and fifty dollars, praise be to God, and people pay because they understand what we're talking about. So all I'm telling you is, whoever's on this live, whatever you got going on, whatever you, whatever your dream, your goal is, speak over it. Keep speaking it. Keep speaking it. Like I said in my, like I said in my story, I said I, I was claiming myself a life coach, certi a life coach, two years before I got my certification. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't believe in you, why should somebody else believe in you? Why? I don't care what it look like. I don't, I don't care. I don't, I, I don't care. Because at the end of the day, without faith, <laughs> it's impossible to please God, babe. It's impossible to do that. And faith ain't just lip service. You understand what I'm saying? What are the actions that you're taking to put you in that direction?
And again, it's not your job to un to know how it's all gonna come together. It's not. It's not your job. It's his job. It's your job to stay consistent. It's your job to to buy in to to what he showed you you would be. Listen, when God told Abraham to move forward, like to go, Abraham didn't know where he was going at. Abraham didn't know the specific location. God didn't give him no GPS. He said, nigga, just go. Hello? When he told Abraham to just go, he said, if you follow these directions, I'll make you father over many nations. That's what he said. Abraham didn't know where to go at. He just going. <laughs> There wasn't no how, Lord, oh, how, how we gonna do this? It wasn't, it wasn't none of that. It wasn't none of that. It was, okay, we out. All right. Was there times that he doubted? Absolutely. Was there frustration? You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But did he keep going? Yes. Some of y'all are this close. This close. And you didn't, didn't own your journey. You come around and let somebody that don't belong and you like speak over your life and you wonder where the turn went. Like, wh like where the issue went. Where, what happened? You let somebody get you off track. Had somebody tell me, you know, oh, you know, you arrogant or whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm like, listen, if you understand, if you know me, you understand what I am. I'm confident. But see, the confidence is not in me and my abilities. The confidence comes from the God that's on against. Like, that's who I lean on because he gave it to me. It just so happens that I'm extremely swag <laughs> in my delivery of said confidence. But understand, if it wasn't for God with me on my day to day, if it wasn't for him giving me like, if it, if he don't do it, it ain't going to get done because I don't know how to do it. You understand what I'm saying? Like it's deeper than just like, like you're deeper than just your abilities. That's why character is important. If he can't trust you to be a good character, he's not going to trust you with with nothing else you prime example people blow up right and through their process they're willing to do whatever it takes i mean dirty stuff i mean trifling terrible things that they think they won't nobody know right they get to the pinnacle of their career and then it's time to drop and what are they able to drop them with their past the things you did to get there that you don't think niggas knew about comes right back up to shame you because you were not focused on integrity you were not focused on maintaining a certain level uh, of righteousness, a certain level of living. You weren't focused on that. All you was focused on was the end result. And when you got it and you lost it, you lost it due to the flashbacks of the things you thought you got away with. That's intense. That's intense. I know I can't get an amen in here. It's okay. It's a little dry. Just say ouch. It's okay. But, uh. Yeah, man, I just wanted to encourage somebody, man. It's just on my heart to do so. We all need encouragement. And sometimes you got to talk to yourself. A lot of time you got to talk to yourself. But I'm here for you, man. I'm here for you, love. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. I'm here for y'all. I understand. Like, this entrepreneurship thing is, is designed to change everything about you. To challenge every piece of you. See, people want success because they see it on Instagram and they see a version of it. Real success... Is who they became at the end of their goals being met. That's real success. It's going to cost the way that you think. It's going to cost some of that unforgiveness in your heart. Like, it's going to cost some of that. Are you willing to give that up? Are you willing to give up some sleep? Some time with your friends at the happy hour? Strip club time? Fast food money? What you willing to really give up to do what you got to do? There's a guy on my Instagram. His name is Dr. Baltimore. The man is, bro is getting it. That's all I'm going to tell you. I, I'm i not a hater, so I can absolutely appreciate what's going on in his life. But that's not even what motivates me. You know what motivates me? His story. He got locked up. Young, in prison. They thought he wasn't going, you know what I mean, do nothing. He came out, started the... The physical training, you know what I mean? The workouts. Now he getting like he now he living, he doing his thing, and he twenty he just turned twenty eight today. Shout out to bro, happy birthday! All I'm saying is, man, is it's gonna cost you something. When I about to eat some trash and I swing and I swing past his page, I'm like, it's gonna cost me that. It's gonna cost me this donut right here. I can't. I ain't even finna eat. It. I ain't even finna eat it. You know what I mean? It's gonna cost. I got billboards to be on. I do. I got commercials to shoot. 
and I want to look good in this caviar clothing that I got. Hey, man, and you should have some too. But uh, it's going to cost. You know what I'm saying? It's going to cost some extra money. It's going to cost some extra thinking power to come up with another source of income. But listen, at the end of the day, I don't want the message to be missed. Because I got to go. For all of you that God has given a vision to. And if you're not even sure what the vision is. And you need some help with that. Tap in with me. But for all of you that God has given a vision to. All these ideas and these dreams and visions that you keep getting. I need for you to really tap into that. Hold on to that. Write it down. Write it down a million times. Write it down every day. Every day you wake up. Every night you go to sleep. Speak over it. And I'll believe God with you. Because it will come to pass. Listen, caviar being what it is going to be is going to be. Period. All y'all are doing is watching me, is watching us get there. That's what you're doing. So when people come to me with who you work with, who you do, who you do with, listen, listen, it's either for you or it's not. You either a part of this society or you're not. But understand the destination is still there. And that. In my darkest hours, my darkest days, my, my most frustrating times is where I get joy from. I don't have to worry that it's not going to happen. Even when it feels like it might not. You don't have to worry if it's going to happen. You just need to focus on Staying consistent. That's it. That's it. I I ain't got nothing else for you. I don't got no I ain't got no collection plate. I ain't got the choir in the back. But just take that with you today. The question of will it happen should no longer be in your mind. And when it comes, because the enemy is going to, to do that to you, it's not gonna happen. When it's going there's no question of when, or excuse me, if. Because if God said it, that's what he said. That's what he meant. He said what he said, right? It's just a matter of staying consistent. So in prayer, I pray strength for all of you on this live. Who are going through your transition to get to where you need to be. Praying for your strength and your consistency. I don't care if you got one like. I don't care if you got ten. Do not live for the for the views and the yays, because you'll die by the boos and the quiet. Do what you do because you're true to what you do. You see this right here? I'm true to this. This is who. This is the essence of who I am. Anybody that know me know yo. You talk to this nigga King. You'll learn. That's me. Anything outside of that is extra. But this this is what I do. You understand? My job is to remind you that you got it. That's what I do. Easy. Prende. So, be blessed, man. If you got some questions, you want to tap in with me, please tap in with me. Let, let, us, let us get you where you need to go. There are still five months left in this year, which is plenty of time for God to do something magnificent. I know I'm an expectation for something crazy. Are you? And if you're not, well... You should be. Let's let's get that together because he is still moving. Please don't allow what the enemy is saying to, to override what God is saying. Because just as many people as you hear going through all that, God is blessing people. Do you hear me? People who's out here getting blessed. I'm talking big blessed. I'm one of them. Are you? That's all I'm saying. Look, be easy. Tap in with me. You're